The high number of deadly crimes is keeping Milwaukee police detectives extremely busy this year. And tonight we're getting a rare look inside the city's homicide unit to see how they're dealing with it. CBS 58's Amanda Porterfield has the exclusive special report. Milwaukee police are working round the clock to solve the record number of homicides, not only from this year, but last year as well. And they say it's not just the influx of violence that they're dealing with. This room is where Milwaukee Police Department homicide unit meets three times a day. The focus cases they're investigating. Today, they're juggling more than usual. This unit operates as a, on a team concept and we're very close knit. We got an exclusive behind the scenes look at how the unit operates. Milwaukee Police Homicide Commander Captain Thomas Casper and Homicide Cold Case Detective Tim Keller know firsthand the challenges facing the unit. What's the last year been like for the homicide unit? Tiring, uh, very tiring. So we had 190 homicides last year and unfortunately we're very close to that pace this year. Um, like I said, I'd like to be less busy, uh, but that just doesn't seem to be the case. Are you overwhelmed right now? There's a lot of work, a lot of work, but there's a lot of dedicated detectives that are assigned to this unit and the entire Criminal Investigation Bureau. As of May 21st, there have been 60 homicides in Milwaukee. By this time in 2020, there were 59. The numbers have nearly doubled since 2018 and 2019. Captain Casper is a second generation officer. He's been with MPD for 30 years. We're seeing a lot of petty disputes, whether they be over social media or on the street. Years ago would have been resolved by just arguments or swearing at each other, uh, now result in gunfire. Would you say that the amount of um, homicides and that are caused by gun violence is abnormal right now. When I came out of the academy in 1991, the, the crack epidemic was exploding and we had a high number of homicides that year and crime figures go up and down, kind of like waves in the ocean. You know, some days, uh, some years it's very low, other years it kind of explodes. The rise in their workload has come in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic <laughs> and during a worldwide civil rights movement centered around the demand for police reform. One of our challenges, especially with homicide, is getting people that have information to bring it to us. And it can be very difficult when people mistrust police in general, but also us as homicide detectives, because of the behavior of someone else in our profession. This means they've had to change their approach when speaking to victims' families. But when you think about the pandemic, too, our entire world had a rough year and mentally, physically, it just really changed people. Going to a, a mother's door to notify her that her son may have been the victim of a homicide or was the victim, um, it's not very personal when you're there with a mask on. That's something that's gonna stick with people forever. And as far as the, the civil rights movement and, and just people's overall, um, I guess, distrust for police based on what's happened across the nation, Sometimes it's just a real honest conversation right away that we don't agree with that Wisconsin and we're different. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, court proceedings were held virtually or delayed. The system is backed up. The result, officers are now appearing in person for older cases while still working on the new cases. We try to clear each and every case. In some cases, we have more evidence. We have more witnesses. We have more cooperation from the victim's family, and it all plays a role in us being able to clear that case. It seems that one of their biggest challenges is gaining the community's trust. One of the criticisms that we get is, why does the body stay at the scene so long? Now, there, there has to be pictures taken. There has to be measurements for a diagram. When the detectives testify in court, there's certain things that are expected that they're gonna be able to testify to and it's not done to be disrespectful. What's even tougher on detectives is the growing number of young lives lost. In both 2018 and 2019, one child was killed in Milwaukee. In 2020, the homicide unit investigated seven child deaths. Already this year, eight of the city's murder victims are children. I think those are some of the toughest cases for any of us to work when it's someone who literally has just started their life 
One thing homicide detectives say helps them solve these crimes is Milwaukee Crime Stoppers. If you know anything, no matter how big or small, about an unsolved crime in Milwaukee, call the number on your screen. 414-224-TIPS. That's 414-224-8477. You can also use the P3 Tips app. Your call or tip is always anonymous, and if your tip leads to an arrest, you could get a cash reward.